This is the most careful man I've ever met. His wife just touched the neighbor's dog and it got jealous. He inserted 18 steel needles into the beef and secretly fed it to the dog. The dog's tongue was all pierced. Since he was crippled, he tied his wife to the bed and crippled her too. So his wife wouldn't leave him. The man's name is Joel. He used to be an ambulance technician who used to steal from patients and sell their belongings. But he had a beautiful wife. He was so controlling that he would read her chat records every day. Unexpectedly on this day when he was out on duty, the driver was not paying attention and collided directly with an oncoming big truck. The impact threw Joel off the road. After rescue, Joel was saved, but his lower body was crippled. His wife didn't abandon him. She quit her job to take care of him. But Njul didn't appreciate her and felt that she betrayed him. Njul installed a surveillance program on his cell phone while she was in the shower to monitor his wife's every move. Since the family had no financial resources, his wife offered to go out to work part-time but was strongly opposed by Njul. He would rather starve to death than let his wife work outside the home. But in order to cure her husband's illness, she went out secretly. When she came home from work the next day, Njul was furious with her and accused her of trying to get rid of him. The wife was speechless. <laughs> How terrible it is when men get jealous. The wife only touched the neighbor's dog. He stuck steel pins in the steak. Then he fed the beef to the dog. The dog's tongue was instantly pierced because he was worried that his wife would abandon him. He installed surveillance software on his wife's cell phone to monitor her every move. Unexpectedly, when he was taking a shower, his wife suddenly realized something was wrong. She realized that her cell phone was actually echoing. She followed the direction of the sound and realized that the sound was coming from the computer on the table. She opened the computer and was stunned by the image on it. Her husband was spying on her. The wife was devastated. She packed her bags and left. When Joe came back to the room after a shower, he realized that he had been exposed. Knowing that his wife would never forgive him, he was left to his own devices. Soon a year passed and he missed his wife too much. So he secretly found out where she worked. He didn't realize that she had a new boyfriend and she seemed to be pregnant. Njul was furious at the way they looked at each other. A terrible idea came into his head. He got a friend to buy a large quantity of narcotics. Then he stopped his wife and lied to her that he had left something important at home. She didn't believe him at first. Seeing that Njul seemed to have changed, she let down her guard and followed him home. But just as she was about to pack her things, Njul pulled out a syringe. Ow! The man used an anesthetic to numb his wife and tied her to the bed. When she woke up, Jill turned off the stereo to muffle her voice. Then he took out his wife's cell phone and sent a text message to her current boyfriend. Then he went to the bridge and threw her cell phone into the river without hesitation. After all this, he returned home and removed the cotton ball from his wife's mouth, signaling her not to yell and scream. He didn't realize that his wife wouldn't listen, so Njul grabbed a syringe and injected an unknown liquid into her. She soon fainted. When she woke up again, she realized that her arms and legs were free, but when she got up, she couldn't feel her legs. It turned out that her husband had crippled her. She was so dumbfounded that she crawled out of the house with her crippled body. When Njul saw her, he was listening to music with a happy face, but she suddenly grabbed the door handle and opened the door to call for help. Njul took out a syringe and gave his wife another shot. However, the neighbor heard the noise and forced his way in. He saw the woman lying on the floor. Unexpectedly, Njul suddenly appeared behind him and violently stabbed the neighbor to death. In order to make his wife completely forget her current boyfriend, he sneaked into his current boyfriend's house. When the man was going to the toilet, he knocked him out from behind. Then, he inserted a loophole in the man's mouth and poured a whole bottle of sleeping pills into it. Soon the man met God. He also faked the scene to make it look like the man had committed suicide. He thought he could regain his wife's love this way. Unexpectedly, his wife took advantage of his inattention to untie the rope and ran desperately out of the house. Unexpectedly, her movement was too loud and Joe soon found him. The two fought in the stairwell. At that moment, his wife took out a knife she had prepared and stabbed Joel. Joel fell down the stairs. The scene changes and Joel is still alive, but his upper body is crippled and he has become a vegetable. His wife suddenly appears in front of him. She tells Njul, Are you happy to see me? This is the movie El Practicante by Carlos Torres. I think the end where the wife says to the caregiver, I'll take good care of you. It's the highlight of the movie. 
the caregiver is tortured and dies, and it's just a natural progression. It's just a natural progression. But the caregiver loved his wife so much that he was afraid of losing her and never meant to hurt her. The only thought he makes is that he watches his wife too closely and drives her into someone else's arms instead. The movie is really moderately well made, not very confrontational, not suspenseful, and not thrilling. 